Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm the Gamer Nerd Down Under. Now you might be noticing something pretty big. I'm on a camera. Hi. And uh, I had recorded uh, all the remaining parts of Bowser's Fury and I was going to edit them when for some reason the microphone wasn't really working and then part 10 and 11 uh, did not even record properly. So that was fun. So what I did was I then started the game again and replayed up until the end of part six uh, in order to redo everything. So unfortunately it means you're not getting my full blind reactions to everything. But to replace that, I am instead going to have a camera on me so that you get to see my glorious face or hideous face and you can let me know in the comments that you don't want to see my face ever again. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so here we are at the Wasteland Gigabell. Uh, last time we were over here, we were doing some shines over there. And so this time we're going to be going over to this little island and having ourselves a lot of fun with everything. Yes, so here we go. This is the uh, Pipe Path Tower. Uh, a lovely, fun, little challenging little mini course, if you will. And it's very interesting because not an awful lot of stages have an entire stage pretty much devoted to clear pipes. Not the main game, if I recall correctly. I think the only other level in Mario which has clear pipes as the entire level is actually a stage from Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Uh, in that game you obviously take control of Captain Toad and do a whole lot of cool treasure tracking stuff. And um, there was one whole level, if I recall correctly, where Toad had to do an entire clear pipe labyrinth, which was one of the more memorable stages, if I'm being honest. Okay, got another Cat Shine Shard, and uh, we got some spike balls. Probably means we want to do the power. Yep, there we go. Okay, uh, let's just keep going. Um, okay, where can I hit a pal? Uh, up here, maybe? Yes. Oh. Yeah, we want to just wait for the spikes to get cleared. I don't want to get get myself spikes. That probably won't be a good thing. And we just... There we go. Nice, sweet little course there. Make the lighthouse shine. We've done so much. I say that, but we've done one shine. It's a lovely shade of red, though, the, the lighthouse, and uh, we get to clear off all the goop. Oh, and since we've done that, we also get to go to the, the that stage. Yes, we couldn't go to that stage last time because it was a covered in goop. Ugh. And uh, the idea is you have to do the first shine of these two areas in order to unlock uh, that next stage. So let's just uh, dive down without shattering our ankles because Mario is just frankly a god and we all have to live with that fact. I can live with that fact. Alrighty, so here we are on to the next main stage, probably one of the biggest stages, the Mount Magmeow. This is one of my favourite courses, uh, just because it becomes so much more difficult. It's just a real uh, step up in terms of difficulty from the rest of the game. The rest of the game up to this point, I think, has been relatively easy. You know, not much, not much stuff going on, but here it gets hard, and it's not just because I keep running into fire bros. It's, it, it's that hard because that's just what it is. Alright, before I die, because that would be fun, <laughs> but I don't want to die, so let's get ourselves a power up. Oh god. Uh, normally, um, Bowser Jr. gets rid of that guy for me. Yes. And I'll get myself uh, a thing there, the cat, the cat Shine Shard. And we'll continue our trick. One of the reasons that this place is actually a lot harder than the rest of the game is because there is lava, which is only ever seen, I think, in one of the first places where you fight the the bullies and the cat uh, the cat magic coopers as well. Uh, but you don't really have a you're not really going to fall in there because you will have the flip switch platforms. So that's nice. But yeah, if you fall into the ground, the lava here, you will die, and um, it's not nice. Okay, so we have a pipe here. Um, Oh, Bowser Jr., get that power up. 
Or don't. I didn't want that power up anyway. All right, so let's just make our way back over here then. Ah, at least the music in this game. The music in Super Mario uh, Bowser's Fury has been really good, all things considered. Like, I mean, the 3D world uh, music is amazing. But Bowser's Fury has definitely not let the fact that it's a, a minor game uh, affect the fact that it's also got massive, massively awesome music. Now that was just a little bit of a hidden secret. You see, since I've played this game now, I know all the secrets. One of the many disappointing parts of not being able to play this game live is I know where many of the secrets are. <sighs> okay, so we just uh, avoid the fire bars, avoid fire bars. Fire bars avoided, well done, Mar I should just not talk. Should never talk. Okay, uh, ooh, money, I want money. Oh gosh. Ooh, the slowdown. I think that's the game. Wow, that was a bit of lag. The game is trying to do so much. And Nintendo Switch can't handle it. Here we go. So this is our next mini boss, the the Cat Prince Bully. Living up to the name, um, we're now gonna bully it. Hey, there he is. Oh dear. I want to know the, the logistics behind getting pushed into a clear pipe and coming out as a cylinder. Like, he's a cat, so he's made of fur as well. How does that work? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, where's he gone? There he is. Finish him off, Mario. Mario did it. He killed the cat bully prince, and the cat bully prince was sort of just being there, so... I'm not 100% certain whether or not we should be celebrating. Is Mario the bad guy? And we got ourselves another lighthouse lit. So lit, fam. And just like that, all that gunk has magically disappeared. Imagine if lighthouses could do that in our world. Like, there's just a bunch of oil pollution in the ocean, and we just build a lighthouse next to them and shine the lighthouse, and all that oil is just gone. That would be very magical, but sadly, I don't think that would very really happen. But that's okay, because now we're going to go to the next section, which is, in fact, uh, what is this section? It's, <laughs> it's like some sort of corkscrew place. The Roiling Roller Isle. This level sucks a lot, especially if you don't have Tanuki Mario. Speaking of, we're going to be Tanuki Mario. Uh, <laughs> for this one. One of the not oft used power ups in Bowser's Fury, if I'll be honest. Nonetheless, very helpful this one. Because, oh dear lord, I'm getting I'm getting flashbacks. Oh, I did not have fun in this, in this level. Uh, I, I have no excuse. Okay. Yeah, Tanuki Mario just helps out a lot. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Run, run, run. Oh. I, I will say it is quite forgiving, but at the same time, it's all, it's, since I know what can happen and how often I've failed miserably at this stage, it, I, I do have copious amounts of stress with this. Uh, that was a bad idea and... All right, okay. So we've done the first half, uh, which to be honest, not the most difficult thing in the world. Ooh. Uh, we want to make ourselves a staircase. Let's do ourselves that. Throw it in the wall. Oh, and we got ourselves... Is that a Luigi? We got ourselves another Tanuki Mario. That's all, always nice. Uh, let's kill... I don't know what we're going to do there. We got, we got money. I mean, you know, all things considered, that's not too bad. Chemics suck, but Bowser Jr. just bodied that Chemix, so Bowser Jr. is officially awesome. Uh, you have to do lots of waiting for this one, I found. It's, 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 I, I joke about this sometimes, but this one is actually patience, the level, because it lines up so perfectly with these platforms that you really do want to wait so that you don't cause yourself any pain. Oh no, Bowser, this is not the time, Bowser, to please. Oh boy, okay. Okay, good. I mean, not good, because Bowser's here, but, you know, we're about to get to the shine. 
funny thing about getting shines in this game, so you know how Bowser's pretty angry. He, um, one thing he dislikes is, uh, the light of the sun, uh, in the lighthouses. Oh, when he's here. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, you just get yourself a, a cat shine whenever he appears. Um, and then the whole little cinematic plays out. And you, you get yourself a lovely shade of red, because it's the red lighthouses. Bowser gets really pissed at you and decides to leave. I'm not going to lie, it makes some of these things very anticlimactic. Like just then, when he appeared, uh, and then subsequently left. Because the sun got in his eye. Anyway, so that's it. We've done three shines. We've done three of the last four lighthouses. That's pretty good. Oh. And you know what? I'm going to make my way back to the Wasteland Gigabell. And whilst I do that, I'm going to thank you, dear viewer for watching this video and if you did enjoy you can press the like button you can comment below and if you have not already you can subscribe please do comment though if you do reach the end of the video and let me know what you think of this new uh camera setup with me if you think it should be in a different spot if you don't think it should be there at all i won't take that totally to heart but you know it will be a totally fine thing and i will take it into consideration so thank you very much for watching again until next time i've been the game of nerd down under cheers mate <laughs>